I, let me say this. There's two things here I don't want to conflate. One is I think Jim Acosta was a little aggressive in saying, you know, Mr. A President. A little Biden. aggressive. <laughs> but, but what Donald Trump did was essentially conflate CNN's very good reporting, which nobody's disputing, with the BuzzFeed article. And that's a very different thing. What CNN reported <laughs> was not fake news. And by the way, I'm old enough to remember and to have been here, and we were all outraged, and rightly so, when Anita Dunn went after Fox News. Right, is saying we're not going to deal with them. They're they're the worst. If you That's remember true. in the early part of the administration, Fair point. and everybody went ballistic, including me, because I don't think you should write off any news organization. CNN is a legitimate. You can't deny somebody a seat. It's a legitimate. But you can deny a, them a let question. Me, but let me finish. You, can you can't deny them, deny them a question, question. But let me finish my point here. CNN did not print the dossier. CNN merely said that a dossier exists, which, by the way, it does. That's not fake news. It could have come from the a lot of internet. things exist don't that don't deserve reporting, though. Why? And even CNN, I, I believe, from what I'm reading today, is is saying this as well, is that that dossier was not described as information that was unsubstantiated. That was one problem. We sat here as the story was unfolding, as that news conference was reaching its fever pitch, right at the top of outnumbered yesterday. We caught, we covered it live. What happened? Shortly before one o'clock, maybe even after we got off the air, was when I first saw it. Was the long statement from CNN explaining everything that might have been helpful maybe before the news conference? Now, if I'm getting the times wrong based on when I looked at my phone, I checked it later. If they sent that information out, at least me and I, I'm on a lot but, of mail but 